Well, it's a very exciting day. I've been to auction again and I bought some stuff for my for myself and I want to see, let's see if we can make some money from Dolls House stuff and houses. I've got three houses and furniture. So there's the first item that was just on top of the box. It's just a nice little brass chair. So I've seen that because it was just sitting on top of the box. So we'll put that to one side. Let's see what's in this one. Because some of the stuff you couldn't see. Because obviously, again, I've travelled 190 miles each way to go and fetch these. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely coal scuttle and a really nice scale. Well, for my houses, that would be quite big for some people's, but that's good for mine. Lovely, love it. Oh, what's this? It's a tiny little plastic doll, but how cute is her outfit? Not sure where the camera is. There you go. Oh, hello, Stara. <laughs> this is my other cat, Stara. Very cute. Someone's been very patient to crochet that. We'll put her on the chair. And, oh, a little phone. It's, I think it's missing its dial. I like it. A lid. <laughs> we need a pan. I'm sure we can find one. And some little bead drops. Not quite sure what they're for, but I'm sure we'll find good use for them. They're just nice. Right, that's... Hmm, I'm not impressed with that. <laughs> it's wood. It just feels like very light, bolster type wood. I've just made a little seating thing for it. Hmm, I think that's like a hall table. Oh my goodness, this is the piece where I bought one of the houses and I've just had the tiniest peek at it because the bubble wrap fell open. <gasps> now that is my kind of furniture. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blown away with that. Oh wow. That is beautiful. Oh gosh. I love it. Wow, I just, oh, I'm blown. I actually saw this tucked away and I just thought, oh, I hope that's as good as I think it is. And wow, it is. Love it. So modern, definitely. Plywood. So, oh, it's definitely cooker. I think this is for the same house. Oh, that's cute. What's that stuck on with wax? <laughs> there, oh, a bit of blue tack. Does the door open? Surely it does. Oh, doesn't seem to. Oh, it does. There we go. A little shelf. It feels very heavy. It's definitely lead of some kind or that kind of metal. So it has a little shelf in. That's cute. And it's in England. And it's such a shame that Made in England isn't stamped on more things and it isn't made to this day. It saddens me. But there you go. When we did it, we did it good. I like it. And the two little saucepans that came with it. The one of those lids I had might very well fit that one, I think. Yeah, that one? No. <laughs> Maybe not then. Right, we'll put those on there. This is metal as well. Oh, it's, I think it's the little matching saucepans. Oh, and a toaster. Like I say, you couldn't really see in the houses to see what was in them. Not very well anyway. Well, that's cute, isn't it? We'll put that on the dresser. And some little saucepans. Now, that pinky lid I've got might fit one of them. There you go. We now have a saucepan to the lid. No? <laughs> A lid to the saucepan even. <laughs> a piece of fabric that's been used for a rug. That's all right. We can reuse that. Okay, I don't know what this is. Again. Oh. A little clothes stand, I think, isn't it? For drying clothes. A clothes area. 
That's cute. See, that's a different scale again, I think. And oh, is that? A, oh, it's a gas fire. That's what it is. It's a little gas fire. Oh, that's cute. Right, I didn't explain that this has all been packed by the auction house, by the way, that uh, we travel down to. So I have seen some of them in pictures. So you couldn't see it all. But again, this was one of the pieces that I really wanted. It came with this sofa. So I just need to know how good it is. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a handsome table. I mean, just look at the legs on that. They're beautiful. That's definitely a keeper. You know, I said I want to try and make some money. Mm. <laughs> keep, keep, keep. <laughs> okay. Quite a big scale, to be fair, but I love it. Right, I don't know what this one is. One different. Uh, it's a dressing table. I mean, it's quite nicely done. It's nice wood. A little bit of, um, what would you call that? It's not inlay. Parquetry? No? I don't know. It's... These are the chairs. Oh, they go with the table and the sofa. Oh my. I mean, that's, that's a big chair. You see it on my hand, but I don't care. Wow. They've got to be handmade, these. So... I remember correctly, I'm hoping this fall. I definitely saw two. I think I know what this is because I could I could see a little corner of it in the uh, picture anyway. Yes, it's a little Tudor court cupboard, and I think these were made by Barton or I think Triang did them as well. Very cute. Very nice. Like it. Again. Do I keep it? Do I sell it? We'll have to see. I like. Right? Again, haven't got a clue here. That seems to be a dressing table. So what's that one then? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, very unusual little design. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if it had a mirror, missing a mirror. I don't know. Anyway, I like it. All in the same, really nice, warm, good condition. Lovely. Love it. Right, okay. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, wow. I think. I'm not sure. No, it's that way. <laughs> oh. We've got a drawn on missing, but that could be meant. That's actually a nice little piece. I mean, how unusual is that? Very unusual design. Yeah, another, I mean, I think that makes quite a good rug. It's just a sample piece of fabric. So yeah, we'll keep it. We're getting close towards the end of what's going on. Oh, that's cute. See, someone's made little covers for it. I thought it matches the other stuff. So that's definitely all a bedroom suite. I've never seen anything quite made quite like that. It's really pretty, actually. I mean, these houses all date between 1920 and 1950. Oh. And it is a four-poster bed. It's got some little handmade. It'll be Barton, but yeah. Okay. Right, I can see what this is through the paper. Oh, this is think I thought it was going to be a loo, because <laughs> I know there was a loo in there. Oh, that's nice and old, glorious. Very nice. Oh, it's just the toilet. <laughs> Could have done this yesterday when we were on the road. <laughs> Little plastic lid. Metal toilet. I like it. I love it. I love it with the wear and the chips. 
Oh yeah, well, that's a good one. That's got to be old, doesn't it? Hang on, let me put the wrapper down. Can you see the taps? They go underneath. Just the little detail, isn't it? The fact they bother doing that. That's really nice, that. And this one, I don't know what this means. An open day invitation to the something exhibition of something paint, <laughs> original paint. All right. This is, ah, plastic. So I think there is a company that made this. I can't remember the name. Clean Cleanware. It is Cleanware, which in this country is like an old, um, they sell all like cleaning products and stuff. And obviously they did carpet beaters and all kinds. So that will have a good bit of age to it. This is Cleanware, made in England. Well, in fact, it's made in England. There you go. That's all right. Oh, right, this is like some small stuff. Oh, that's cute. It's quite nice, but I shall be maybe. I mean, it might have been that colour. I don't know. I quite like it. Maybe we'll just leave it. I could keep it off. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, oh, that's metal. That's brass. Oh, so that's a good little mirror. It's like a dressing table mirror. It probably goes on there. Very nice. What else have we got? Oh, this says made in Ooh. something and sons, England. So that's a little gas fire. That's cute. Do you can make out the writing on it? I couldn't quite make it out. Okay. What else we've got? Uh, Oh, little tiny plant pots. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, and another one filled with flowers and wax or something, I think. Lovely. It looks, actually, it looks like rice. <laughs> Just rice. I don't think that's the best thing to do. <laughs> anyway, there we are, two plant pots. It's been great meeting up with you all again. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you again to anyone who's subscribed new and old and anybody who's commented and give me a thumbs up. And I'd just like to say, if you haven't already subscribed, if you please could, that would be amazing. And thank you so much. So, ta-ta for now and see you on Friday.